What is that? No, seriously, what is that? That is the prototype. And this is my brother Case and I working on it. I get it. It's possible we look a little like tin hat loonies, but it's a serious prototype with real calculations, measurements and stuff. No help from texting my family, of course. I got the same reaction. Hmm, alien catcher indeed. As she implied, we look like we are making a mess rather than making sense. Stick with us, though. We're expecting this to make a lot of sense. Dollars, in fact. Well, it's trickling down. <laughs> These do feel cold. I mean, they kind of felt cold anyways because they were aluminum, but... Mm -hmm. But they should gain the room there temperature eventually, right? Yeah. All right. Swedish, Swedish, very Swedish. Suspended bubble. The water pressure is pushing it down. Otherwise, it would come all the way back up. It's like down to 9.8 and still dropping. But well, let's have a look at this thing, this cobbled together prototype consisting of three Honda Civic radiators at its core. Some vinyl tubing and various plumbing connectors we found around my brother Case's garage. One garden hose connected to a 5,000 gallon water cistern, not required, with water at around 10 degrees Celsius. You want Celsius? Temperature, yeah. There, 21's room temperature. 12 degrees Celsius? <laughs> Are you serious? I wonder, I wonder how, so let's just keep going here for a while, but that's at low speed. I think high speed, there'll be less of a difference, but more of a cooling effect because you're moving more air, right? Uh, let's see, a real live flow meter because, well, calculations, more about that later. And a real live thermal cup of temperature gauge. We're following the example of one of our favorite YouTube channels, Tech Ingredients. Thanks to the lads for the leg up. Let's see, some wood, some screws, bits and bobs, all wrapped up with some general excitement and long time discussions on this first step in our journey. Our journey to make this house utility free? Actually, no cost and low effort and low maintenance utilities. Hmm, we're gonna have to come up with a catchy mission statement, but later. 4,000 BTU, awesome. Now I hope to convince you that such a difficult destination is important, as the wise man Simon Sinek has said in many ways, you need a just cause or an impossible destination, a dream, something to strive for. So what is our short-term goal with this? It's a prototype to determine how effective such a homemade system would be at cooling my brother's garage using a ground loop. Ground loops are pipes underground far enough that in either winter or summer, the temperature remains the same. That magical temperature in our area is 10 Celsius, which is pretty magical because it is warmer than winter and cooler than summer. Cooler than summer is the immediate easy thing for us to take advantage of. We'll talk about that winter magic in future endeavors. And there's definitely a little bit of chewing gum and patchwork going on in this cobbling together. And while we didn't blow things up as SpaceX might in prototyping, we did spring many leaks, flood the floors, and say some purely ridiculous things in our excitement as we started to see results. We did calm down enough to do some careful measuring of the temperatures and flow rates, which allows us to calculate the BTUs that this unit is supplying in cooling. This prototype is determining how we can take that 10 degrees Celsius water pass it through some car radiators, pass the warm air of the garage through those car radiators, and by doing so, cool that air down. In theory, all it needs is a pump and a fan. Oh, and a ground loop. Oh, uh, and the stuff I mentioned earlier. But it all starts with this prototype, this proof of concept. Have a look at the results. They're very encouraging. This prototype is part of a project, which is part of a larger project backlog, and all of these are heading for that distant vision of a no-cost, low-maintenance utility home. Tell us in the comments below if you've done something like this. Let us know if you have some advice, and by all means, ask us questions. That would truly be helping others to break barriers to DIY.